Welcome everyone. My name is Kier Kreitzmuller. I'm the Chief Engagement Officer here at Food Finders Food Bank. Katie sends her regards. She's at a Feeding America conference this week, so I am filling in for her. Um, but I want to acknowledge we have our staff here, we have some of our wonderful board members here, our media, and our, um, our wonderful sponsors are with us today. So thank you all for coming. It feels great to be in a room with all of our supporters, so thank you. I was chatting with Katie yesterday on the phone quickly, wanting to make sure I got her points across and things like that, and I said, I feel like we're a broken record. Every time we stand up, we're like, this is the worst time ever, we're seeing more people than ever, but unfortunately, that's what I'm gonna say again today. Um, we are seeing record numbers of people that are seeking food assistance due to the high inflation and gas prices as our neighbors struggle to, to make ends meet and put food on the table. We have more people visiting our fresh market right here than ever before during the COVID crisis, during the worst times of COVID. We hit our first record-breaking month, our staff will remember this well, um, back in March. We saw an increase by 4,000 visits from the month prior in just one month. We broke 12,000 visits per month for the first time. And unfortunately, we've continued to hit new records every month since then, um, seeing just under 15,000 in the last two months. Our visits are up an average of 50% over 2021. At the same time, the food bank, um, we are grappling with a reduction in retail store donations, food manufacturer donations, and a reduction in food from the USDA. And to complete that perfect storm, we are having to pay 50% more on average to run the food bank, to buy food, to keep up with the demand and because of the lack of donations. Um, and that's just gas and food and expenses to run the food bank. So that's where we're at. Our agency partners, our food pantries, and our, our soup kitchens, and our folks that are out on the front lines in the communities that we serve feeding the hungry, they're experiencing the same thing. They're seeing a huge increase in demand, and they're also struggling to keep, to keep up um, you know, with the supply. Our motto is solving hunger today and need hunger tomorrow. And so we first work with our neighbors to connect them to food resources first, and then we work on that long term on the long-term solutions. We have an amazing team of resource coordinators over here. We have four staff now that are doing resource coordination. And just over the last month, a few examples of what they've been helping people with once we've already met that food need is um, things like obtaining birth certificates and documents that are needed to get employment. Did you know it costs money? What is it, like $50 to get your birth certificate um, sent back to you? And that's a lot for some people. Um, connecting families to the Boys and Girls Club so they can obtain after-school care in order to get jobs connecting families to resources in order to avoid evictions or to make sure their utilities don't get shut off or to help them get out of domestic violence situations. And that's okay, that's what we're here for, but we can't do it alone. And that's why this food drive and all the events like this are so important. Food Finders is funded by our community and people like you who wanna make a difference and wanna make sure people are lifted up and not falling further into despair. So that's why we're here today. We're here to kick off Drive Away Hunger, to do what we can as a community this fall, um, to make, you know, to help make sure that we have enough food to, to spread around to everyone. And we are so thankful for our sponsors for this event that are here today. We're gonna give them a chance to talk in a few minutes, um, but for making this food drive possible. This is the 12th year for Drive Away Hunger, and the impact now that it was from that first year has just grown immensely over the years. And so we're really proud of that, and we're thankful for our community to allow us to do that. Um, so please join us to Drive Away Hunger this fall. There are lots of wonderful, easy ways to get involved. You can start your own food drive within your organization or your work or your place of worship. You can um, participate in one of the many events that Kyle's going to talk about that we have going on this fall. And together we can weather the storm and ensure that no one goes hungry. So thank you. I'd now like to introduce Cargill Cares Regional Chair, Justin Rissmiller. Thank you and, and good morning. Um, some of those statistics are actually really tough to hear because it shows the acute need of, of the resources in this community. And, but at the same time, I think it also demonstrates that um, the role of food finders is as important as, as ever. And really help, really happy to be able to help in that role. My name is Justin Rissman. I'm the regional commercial leader for Cargill. And food security and nutrition is one of Cargill's priority impact areas for our community giving programs and it fits well within our organization's purpose. At Cargill every day, we participate in the supply chains and processes that connect uh, those who grow and produce our foods with those who need it the most. And this is another opportunity for us to be able to help in that role. We've been a partner with Food Finders for a number of years. And the reason we do that is because we believe in the great work that Food Finders does and its ability to drive the engagement and particip participation with the community with their volunteer programs and initiatives such as Driveway Hunger. 
Uh, we're stronger when we all come together to help our community, and I'm confident with Food Finders leadership, and with the participation of our schools, our organizations, and individuals, we'll exceed the 650,000 meal goal uh, going forward this fall, which is just absolutely awesome. So really happy to be here. Uh, thank you all very much for the work that you do every day for our neighbors and our friends. And with that, I'd like to introduce Jeff Ferrick with Indiana Packers, a fellow presenting sponsor. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Indiana Packers is privileged and proud to be a sponsor of this particular event. And as an Indiana-based company, we are proud that uh, this is a Hoosier hospitality group, that we can work together to help fight this uh, food insecurity type of uh, area. Indiana Packers donates thousands of pounds towards food finders over the past several years. And uh, basically, it's kind of ironic that Indiana is a uh, food one of, the uh, one of the country's top food producing states, and yet there's still food insecurity. And we want to help to make the steps in the process to help take care of food insecurity. Um, again, it's a, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you. And I'd like to in introduce Kylie Pitts, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to recognize all of our sponsors at this time. Of course, our presenting sponsors are Cargill Incorporated, Indiana Packers Corporation, Indiana Kitchen, makers of premium pork products. Thank you for leading the charge in this year's Drive Away Hunger. Now I'd like to mention our key engine and green light sponsors. Our key sponsor is Tempest Homes. Our engine sponsors include Duke Energy, Evonik, Subaru of Indiana Automotive. Our green light sponsors include Industrial Federal Credit Union, Kettle Hut, Construction, Solar Baker Funeral Home, Van Gorder Janitorial, and Wabash. And our in-kind sponsor, we have two men in a truck. Another round of applause for all of our sponsors. <laughs> I'd also like to mention that every year Giving Tuesday, which is a big day for food finders and lots of area nonprofits, um, it falls near the end of driveway hunger every year. This year Giving Tuesday is November the 29th. And our presenting sponsors will match all donations raised that day, dollar for dollar, up to $20,000. So on behalf of Food Finders and the neighbors we serve, thank you very much. Additionally, Fleet Feet's beloved Thanksgiving 5K is back in a new way. The Gobble Wobble will take place on Sunday, November 20th at 1 p.m. at Cumberland Park, and we'd love to see you there. And now I'd like to turn it over to our friends at Newhoff Media Lafayette. Over the last several years, we've had the honor of partnering with Newhoff Media as our media partner during Drive Away Hunger. They're huge supporters during the overall campaign, and they are our champions on Feed the Need Day. And we couldn't be more grateful for their support. Please welcome Joe Lacey of Newhoff Media Lafayette. Yes, my name is Joe Lacey. I'm the operations manager for Newhoff Media Lafayette, and I was going through some statistics and we've been doing our Feed the Need Day since 2009 and we're going to be doing it again this year the day before Thanksgiving November 23rd from 10 to 6 we'll be at area Pala Superstores again this year uh, collecting donations all day long and it's, it's a great event for us to get out in the community and the stories that we hear from people who also used to come here to Food Finders for, for food and that's their way to give back. It's amazing to hear those people willing to give back after they themselves have had to come to Food Finders for assistance. But since 2009, we've raised over 566,000 meals, which is an astonishing number, but still not enough. And so, like I said, November 23rd, we'll be back out again. Uh, we'll be partnering again with Tate Lyle, Premium Indiana Packers Corporation for our Feed the Need Day. And we did this, I believe, starting in 2018, 2019. Uh, we wanted to get our area schools involved. And so this year we're bringing, bringing back our classroom superstars, area, we're encouraging area schools to do a, fo a food drive at their schools. They can drop off donations or have food finders pick up their donations by November 18th. And then the top elementary, middle, and high school will get receive the uh, Golden Spork Award this year <laughs> as uh, whoever raises the most at their school. So we have that campaign going on right now uh, to encourage students and uh, schools to do a food drive at their schools. And like I said, we'll announce the winners of those, uh, the Golden Spork Award for Classroom Superstars during our Feed the Need Day. So we're a proud supporter of Food Finders. I feel like we never talk to them enough, but uh, we're glad to be a part of, uh, of Drive Away Hunger. The 
last year, our community came together and raised nearly one million meals for our neighbors facing hunger, far surpassing our goal of raising 600,000 meals. This year, our goal is to raise 650,000 meals for families facing hunger in North Central Indiana, and we do need your help. Now I'd like to mention a few local groups who are already participating this year that you might like to support when you're out and about. Henry Poor Lumber and Flooring Express are in a friendly competition to see who can raise the most food, so you can support food finders when you're out shopping for your flooring needs or your decking needs. Matchbox Coworking Studio is hosting a food drive, so you are able to drop off a non-perishable item at your next meeting there now through December the 2nd. And Centier Bank has drop-off locations at all five of their local branches starting today through December the 2nd. So if you or your business or your church or your social club want to get involved in Drive Away Hunger, you can start by visiting www.food-finders.org slash DAH and there you'll find ideas, event listings, drop-off locations, or you can register your food drive. And remember, everyone can do something to make a difference. Thank you so very much for your support.